The Commissioner on Interception of Communications and Surveillance held a public briefing on the 2009 annual report. Nearly 2,000 authorizations were issued last year for interception or covert surveillance, contributing to the arrest of 366 people. Twelve reports of non-compliance or irregularities were received, mainly involving careless mistakes and not willful flouting of the ordinance. Justice Wu Kwok Hing said he is not empowered to listen to audio recordings of intercepted items, making it difficult to detect non-compliance or concealment. I really can't guarantee that everybody operating interception or covert surveillance will be extremely familiar with the provisions of the ordinance or the rules. What I can do is to do something ex post facto. When they have committed a mistake, I'll try to find out, I'll try to criticize, I'll try to advise them, in fact, uh, so that they can improve. He suggested a new initiative to the Security Bureau requiring law enforcement agency to keep the audio records of every interception so the commissioner can check cases of special interest or inspect them at random. This is very much of deterrence, he said. The new initiative requires an amendment to the ordinance to put it into effect. Whether it should be implemented depends on the decision from the Security Bureau and the Legislative Council.